In this video, I'm going to be going through some of the books I've read centered around race, books that have helped me with this channel in order to talk about race on a more intellectual plane. It's about the most intellectual way I could have put that one, right? Now, of course, that's not to say that you need to be smart to talk about race. It helps for some people, but if the topic of race centered around black people is something you want to learn a little bit more of, then these books are certainly a great start point for you to do so. So here are four books that I've read about race that I think you should read that will help you learn about race when it comes to black people. Welcome to Hakuna Machata, your place for everything positive in diversity and representation in film and TV. My name is Elliot. If you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing and dropping this video with a like. So the first book I really recommend you checking out is Why I Am No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. What I love most about this book is firstly, it was the first book on race I have ever read and so there was lots in there that was kind of enlightening me even though race and racism is something I live and experience on a daily basis. Rennie has this wonderful ability of just cutting out the bullshit and getting straight to the point of what she wants to say. You can see that here by the fact that the book is very concise and to the point. Rennie does not waste her words and that made the whole experience of reading this book that much more enjoyable. The bit that really stood out for me was her chapter on white privilege. It's always a difficult subject bringing up the topic of white privilege with well, white people because a lot of people haven't grown up in privilege and so they hear the word privilege and think that it means they have had a privileged life and that isn't always the case and what Rennie teaches you is that even if you have not grown up in privilege your race may have still played a factor in giving you a slightly easier life than other people and also if you like to have people's heads turn and give you a kind of weird scowl as you're reading something on the tube that's a real good one to read. Actually, that's probably something I should have said at the top of the video. These books are very tuned to the UK experience. So if you're really wanting to learn race and black people and race in terms of the UK and black people and race, then these books are really great for that. Um, but they'll also help you with other stuff as well. And that moves me quite nicely on to Black and British, A Forgotten History by David Olusoga. Now, having watched a couple of David Olusoga's documentaries on BBC, I was really excited to read this book. It was recommended to me initially by a friend who is a history teacher and he said, Elle, if you want to complete history, check this book out. And that's exactly what David Olusoga gives you. He gives you a complete history, not just of black people in Britain, but of Britain itself from the black perspective and really ties in exactly how Britain's history is as much tied around black people as black people's history is tied around Britain. And that this isn't just black history, this is British history. And he goes all the way from the Romans straight through to near enough present day. I'm actually yet to finish the book, as I'm sure you can see. It's quite a chunky book and David Olusoga, he loves to write in lots of detail, which is great, but it has taken me a while to finish. That being said, the way that Olusoga writes is what makes this so interesting. He writes everything as a story. It's not just kind of bullet pointing all the important points of different people's stories. The way that he has gathered his information, done his research and compiled it into this book makes it flow into one beautiful continuous story and just when you kind of come to the end of someone else's story because he's so eloquent in the way that he writes he's already bled it into the next person's story and you find yourself three pages into a new story after you've only kind of just realized that you finished the last but I think it's a really important book to understand exactly where racism towards black people has come from because certainly from that it started all the way back near enough in some parts of the medieval times but obviously predominantly during the beginning of the slave trade. Yeah, that's kind of when things got really bad and it has not stopped since then. So the next book I really recommend, which actually is not a UK based book, it is Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. Anybody who has watched clips of Trevor Noah's talk show will already know how great this guy is. He is seriously one of the slickest guys around when it comes to talking about political issues, issues on race, because he lived through one of the most difficult periods in race related issues. He was growing up in apartheid South Africa and he says born a crime because he, like me, is mixed race and being mixed race in South Africa, in apartheid South Africa, he was the literal embodiment of a crime. It showed that a white man or a white woman had slept with a black man or a black woman. In this case, a white man with a black woman. But Trevor Noah writes again in a way that is similar to David Olusoga. He's really 
great in telling a story and a detailed story and getting everything across. I mean, he's telling his own story, so that really helps for Trevor Noah. But he's also great at feeling in that comedy as he is just a very naturally funny and hilarious guy. And so with that in mind, it really translates into this book, making it an easy read. Well, an enjoyable read, not necessarily always an easy read. But one thing that Trevor Noah really does get out there is the strength of black women. In particular, of course, his mum. She sounds like an absolute saint and a trooper and she reminded me a lot of my mum. So the final book I'm going to recommend for you guys to check out is Efua Hershey's British. Now this is a book I'm currently reading at the moment. I'm about halfway through now. But Efua does something that's very different from the other books on this list. And she's talking about ideas identity and what is the British identity, what is the black British identity, what is the mixed heritage British identity and delving into how Britain has had its issues with identity and identity politics and what it means to be British and who is British. And this touches home for me in a lot of ways because Ethel Hirsch, like me, is of mixed heritage with one black parent and one white parent. She grew up in London, actually she grew up in Wimbledon, I was born in Wimbledon, grew up in South London in Sutton. But what has really hit home for me so far in this this book is the way that particularly the area of Wimbledon which is kind of mimicked with the area which I grew up in this sense is that people white people they tend not to see race or they tend to say I don't see race and this is their way of defeating racism and as valiant as it is what it also does is it takes away the beauty of different races and different nationalities and different identities and it does also turn a blind eye to the suffering that is going on rather than actually helping to stop that from happening. And then also she kind of delves a lot into the different microaggressions that people of mixed heritage and black heritage face and I'm sure that goes on to other races as well, no doubt. And it's those kind of microaggressions that on a surface level don't seem to be hurtful in any way. In fact, they usually supposedly come from a place of misunderstanding or just trying to be nice, but really... Mm. And the more you read F.O. Hirsch's book, the more you'll get an idea of what I mean by that. As I said, I'm halfway through that book. I'm really enjoying it and I really recommend you check that out. So those are just some of the books on race that I have read slash are reading. And if you want to learn more about race as it pertains to black people, I really recommend that you check all those books out. There are links in the description box down below for you to pick them up. But if you'd like to learn more about the black experience through film and TV, I have this real handy video here showing you some of my favorite documentaries, films and TV shows I have watched to learn about the black experience as it pertains to race and racism and if you'd like to understand some of the tropes that black people go through in film and tv you can check that video right there if you'd like to subscribe turning on the bell notification do so right there and I'll see you soon Hakuna Machata